What's up guys? Thanks for coming back to the channel. If you hadn't been here before, please hit that subscribe button. Stick around. We're going to show you in this video on how to make monograms and even motion monograms inexpensively at home so you can charge your client, make some more money, but put it all in your pocket. Stick around. Did you guys know you could make a monogram like this for your video projector at home? Did you know you could make a monogram like that at home? Like this at home? Say what? How about that? How about having a party like that? <laughs> Stick around, we're gonna show you right now. All right, we're gonna get started right now, and what we're gonna do is we are going to start off with a free program to create your monogram, a simple um, program, kind of like Photoshop, but a free one. And uh, I'm a PC user, so I'm gonna give you PC breakdown and uh, paint.net, paint.net. And we're gonna go ahead and click and open paint.net, which is gonna load on up. It's a little slow because I have so much stuff on this computer. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to create our size, our 1920 by 1280. All right, create a new project. 1920 by 1280. And we're gonna set it up. We're gonna leave our black background white right now. Actually, we're gonna take the background and simply, um, if you've ever used any of these programs before, you're just gonna take a paint bucket, select black and presto black. All right. With your layers, you're gonna to wanna to create a second layer. There's a few different ways to do this. You can create a layer and basically delete, delete the bottom layer and make a PNG, so it's kind of a transparent, so depending what you wanna do with it. Uh, but PNG is pretty much always a good idea, uh, but you can use JPEG as well, okay? So, but we're gonna do, um, we're gonna do both. All right, actually we'll probably just do JPEG. Nope, we are going to do PNG. <laughs> but we're going to start on a, a black background because we're going to do white lettering. So we got our black background, which you can see. We're simply going to take our text tool and select a font. I'm going to go with one that I know people like. A little simple Alex brush. All right, I know it's going to have to be much bigger than this. So we're just going to type in some names. How about Michelle? Michelle... Give me a name, give me a name. Hmm? Thomas, sounds good. So remember, we're gonna be projecting this, so we're going to pick a decent size that we can work with, and then what we'll do is we'll change everything around, all right? So here we go, we have Thomas, uh, Michelle and Thomas, in the middle of our frame, and we're gonna just go ahead and center that up. And this isn't even super duper important, depending on what else you're gonna do with it. It's not that great, uh, that important. But I have some space left on the screen. What I'm going to do is I'm gonna uh, shrink that up by pushing, making the end a little smaller and bringing everything a little bit closer together. And that's simply all I'm gonna do is use one of my lasso or little um, selection tools. I'm gonna circle that up and I'm just gonna shrink it on down a little bit. Bring it right up here. Now I'm going to say do the same thing with Thomas, but I'm not going to shrink him. I'm just going to. All right, there we go. We have our names and we have them on a separate layer. All right. Piece of cake. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab. Uh, over time, you, you collect a lot of stuff you can use for background for uh, anything. And. Um, I've got some clip art for monograms here, so we're going to grab a little fancy thing here. We're going to add another layer. Bam. Bring one of these things in. Add his layer. It's going to be way too big. Yes, it is. And we're just going to resize that a little bit here. And then we're going to decide where we want it. Now, a lot of these, uh, you know, we do a lot of uh, above and below. these things over. Maybe we just want something simple underneath it. 
and we can take that layer and flip it on over and center it. Does that look center? Does everything look center? We will center everything. It's good to label your layers. So right here, if you see layer two, and you see this pen and pencil, pen and pencil, pencil and paper, rather, you can name it. So we're gonna name that names. All right. Actually, I'm gonna rename that names. And white. All right. Nice. And if we select their whole layer, then we can make sure that it is. centered. That's dead center of the um, frame. And then we'll go ahead and take our um, background and bring it on down. Bring it on down to Lickville. So we got the fancy schmancy thing here. What we can do with that though, is we can copy it, add another layer, paste it, and take it and flip it. And there it is on top and bottom. All right, so a lot of copying and pasting can do a lot for you because you can take exactly what you have, then change it, and then bring it in as a layer, which is not it's simple to do really once you have this much knowledge of these programs. And then when we go into video with it, we can actually just layer it over each other and have them dissolve and fade over each other. So you will see colors wash in or wash out as far as colors go and change it if you wanted to or cycle or, or something. And again, I'm not ridiculously proficient with this, but small things that you can do visually with the monogram will stand out and uh, it's so easy to do. You can do it and you can charge more for it. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the uh, middle layer and I'm going to change the color of it. And it's very simple to do that. All I'm gonna do is I'm going to actually, yeah, I'm gonna take the names in white, select the whole thing, and I'm going to copy it. I'm gonna add another layer. I'm gonna paste it. And now what I'm gonna do is, just like anything else, uh, up lights or lights in the room, obviously we can't do super dark colors even though we have these like, Photoshop stop programs. We want to keep the colors bright. And all I'm going to do is pick a bright color out here. Let's go with, a, you know what? Everybody likes purple. All right, so we're going to go with a pink. Yeah, pink. Purple. A later shade of purple. Yeah, all right. And very simply, all we have to do is once we're in here, and we're on the layer, we can use our little magic wand. Actually, we probably just do fill. So with the paint bucket, there's selection covered. We probably only have to hit that little shift button on the letter and bam, we have pink, all right? And so all we're gonna do now is we're gonna save this as two different files, all right? So we're going to save, let's see. For the PNG, we're going to go ahead and take the background out as now you can see the screen is um, the pink and you can barely see the white, but that's gonna be okay because when we project, it'll be projecting over black by default, all right? And um, that's what you want, all right? And that black will not show up on the wall because your projector is gonna be good enough and you're gonna love it. So let me make sure I can save this to a location where I can find it. We're gonna save it as a PNG. And we're gonna call that Michelle and Thomas Pink. Boom, it's gonna squish it down. So yes, flatten. All right, so it did it and it erased some of the things you're gonna see in the layer section that it's down to one thing. But with this program, all we're gonna do is simply, we did save it, we're gonna simply now go ahead and press our undo button once. It's going to bring us back to all of our layers and this time we're just going to go ahead and turn off the pink and now you're going to see on the screen barely i'm going to turn on the black background just so you can see it we have everything in white just without the background so we're going to make it transparent with the png file and we're going to go ahead and save that save as uh, michelle and thomas and white 
panel to make sure that that is a PNG. Save. Flatten. Yes, please. All right, so we have our two. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to throw it into my video editing software, which I don't even have to do as far as the monogram. Excuse me, as far as the monogram goes right now. What did I eat for lunch? As far as the monogram goes right now, I have a white one and I have a pink one. I could put those two. I could even put them in a slideshow right now. And when they changed, you would just see the change in the pink. But we're gonna put them into um, a video and we'll leave one as a still and we'll show you what we can do with that. What I'm gonna do now is open up our video editing program and I use a cheap one called Cyberlink Power Director. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull in those, we're gonna create a new project, but because I have one started in this video as a matter of fact, so I have to um, get rid of that stuff here because we're not gonna be using that. So we're just going to a new project. We're gonna make sure everything's 16 by nine. And what we're gonna do is find our footer, which I have off on the other screen here. And we're gonna look for Michelle and Thomas. All right, we're gonna drag them in here. There's one. You'll see that these were PNGs. There is no background, but you'll see it's over black. I'm gonna put the pink one in too. So we have both of them in. All I have to do is to drag one into the timeline. All right, and then drag the next one into the timeline. And simply, if you watch the, I got this so huge, uh, 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 watch the preview window, and this is just, um, the preview is gonna be not so great just because the quality is not gonna be so great. Uh, just so it's quick enough to see. So you're gonna see it's pink and it's gonna turn, it's gonna turn pink. But what we can do is we can make those transition differently into the pink one. Just very simply with a transition from our transition room. You know, we can do something crazy. Let's look for something special. Special burning. All right, we're going to put a burning dissolve in here. And this is simply going to, we're going to have it overlap. And we're going to increase the length of it, the duration, just for fun to double. So all I did is I took my two clips and I just took a transition of them and I laid it over the middle and I increased the length of the, the uh, transition. You're going to see why. So in the preview window, you're going to see it. And as it transitions, you're going to see a little flame go. Pretty cool, right? Simple as that. That's all I did. And now you have a monogram that'll do that. And if you process that out as a video clip and put it into window media player, I'm going to do that. And I'm going to put it on a loop and I'm going to put it on the wall so you can check it out. What else I'm going to do is I'm going to, usually what I do is I stretch these out so they're on there for a long time. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep making them go back and forth here with something a little bit different. And simply by clicking and dragging, I'm going to go back to my white one. We'll put in a different transition this time. Let's, let's go white, black, white, black. Let's just do, um, let's see these are their colors. And we're just going to do this for uh, about 30 seconds. I probably usually, a lot of these I'll make a four or five minute video um, just because when they switch over, sometimes there's a little tiny bit of a glitch, but if you fade out or fade in, or maybe even, let me try that. What we're gonna do is we're gonna end with white and just see if the white carries straight over when it restarts without a glitch. If so, maybe what we'll do is we'll, um, let's just see what happens. And we're just gonna take some of our transitions and we'll do something different here. Let's see. And, and you want to play around with them. You want to check them out and see what some of them do. Some things are uh, cool. Some of them are kind of won't be that great. But you can also just dissolve between them or do a wipe. And when you do that, you're going to get some different things. I try to stay away from full screen things because they'll brighten, brighten up the black a lot. And you don't want to do that, uh, in my opinion. But even if you just did... Some of these are cool, like frozen here. This is so almost like frost over. So that's kind of cool. Evaporate. Evaporate middle. 
you really just want to play with this and find out what you like. But I would never use this many. I would only use like one, but it could be pretty funky. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to process this and we're going to see what happens when we project it on the wall. All right, sound good to you? Sounds good to me. Peace. See ya. This is how we. Oh, hang on. This is how easy to produce these two. All you do is hit your produce button. Wait, we're at 1920. Uh, 8.264 ABC seems to work for me. I don't know if it's the best or not. Um, I'm not a super duper video guy, but I know that this works. So what I'm gonna do is make sure that I know where I'm saving everything. So it's always important that you know where you are saving your stuff. Let's save it here and we're gonna call it YouTube Demo Monogram with very little motion. We can add motion to it by doing some other things in here as well, but let's just stick with the basic monogram now. Maybe we'll make it a second video. All right, save a ruski. So starting, it's almost 30% done, so. This right now, it should be done. We're just gonna check it out. And our little demo looks like, looks like this. Wait, that's not it. I did it again. Looks like this. What we're gonna do is we're gonna show you what that looks like on uh, Windows Media Player. And this is what it looks like. You see it's breaking up now. It's nice. Colors coming back in. Lines are pretty clean. I just want to see what happens when it gets to the end if we see a little glitch before we put it on the wall. The wall of fame. I think we're good. Yeah, it ran through it already. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna move it over to the other computer, kick up the projector, put it on the wall here, and move this big fancy stage light somewhere else. And bing bada bang. Let's see what it goes. Now I'm going to be kicking this a little bit old school here with the camera because I don't have a screen recorder on my other laptop. But I have an Asus laptop over here which I've transferred all the files to real quickly. So I have the two PNG still files and then the video that we created. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you them. I'm going to put one up on the screen and we're going to project it up on the wall here. And um, I will show you how we do the video in Windows Media Player. And I do have Grand VJ which is amazing it's very expensive uh, it's like seven hundred bucks or something like that but uh, it allows you to do a whole lot more with that video uh, but the same thing will work with um, as far as playing it windows media players piece of cake pretty much plug in your computer get it to your your projector and you're good to go you press play you put on auto repeat you walk away all right a couple things we gotta let you know right off the bat we have the png ready to go we have the little movie we produced ready to go. We'll just be putting the uh, PNG up in the Fast Stone Image Viewer. It's a free, it's free download. Um, it's free to use. It's free. This and Paint.net, they're both free. If you can send five bucks, ten bucks once a year or something to them for their what they put together for it, it's awesome. Little PayPal on the bottom. Send them a little money, show a little love because the programs are awesome and once again free, and they're constantly updating them as well. Um, so what that will do is it will alleviate the bottom little tiny arrows that Windows Picture Viewer will have. So when we put those PNGs up, they're full, full they're solid, they're perfect. Also, you're going to want to have your screen resolution, the same native resolution as your projector. Uh, 1920 by 1080 is what we have everything set up for. Projector is 1920 by 1080 as well. And we're using an Optima EH504 Wi-Fi. Uh, which is pretty awesome. It's 5,000 lumens and it's 15,001 contrast ratio. And right now, for the beginning of this, what we're going to do is we're mirroring it. We have our laptop down here. We have our laptop and we basically we're just mirroring it so we can show you what happens. So here we go. We're going to go ahead and put our first photo up there. We're going to see what it looks like. Now I'm just opening Fast Stone Image Viewer and I'm going to select the image 
that we had back. And if we leave that sit for a second, the little hand goes away, and there is your monogram. So there it is. What we're going to do now is we're going to switch it to the pink, um, and then we're going to show it to your Windows Media Player as it changes by itself. All right, check it out. There it is with a quick change of color. You can actually even put these in a slideshow and just have them go that way as well. Now what we're going to do is we're going to show you our little video we made in Windows Media Player. And we're going to start it up. Make sure we're on repeat. Full screen. And here is our monogram, motion monogram. All right, and all we're doing with simple simple um, dissolves and whatnot from the video program are going ahead and doing the changes in the color. As you can see, though, the lettering will change color-wise with a couple cool little, little effects. And now it's going to actually cycling right through right now and just start it all over. Now that is simple, and that's done, and we did that in about 20 minutes for the whole thing to get it up, done, and ready to go. And now I'm just going to show you a few little things that you can do in Grand BJ. Just the effects on the wall. I won't go into the program. If it's something you want me to go into a little bit later, more than happy to. And then, like I said, this is just touching the surface of what you can do with the monogram if you put it and basically do video titling. And that's basically all it is. is you go into a video program, you do some titling, and in that you'll be able to do a whole lot more. So if you made a video to make things spin or to move around a little bit is a lot easier and then to start layering things. So often I'll put a couple examples of stuff that I've done in the past but this is bare bones cut and dry piece of cake. I'm going to turn on um, Grand BJ now and just show you a couple little movements that you can make with that just for fun. If you're interested let me know we'll make more videos. Okay I've got the um, I've got Grand BJ open so all you're seeing is black wall right now I'm going to go ahead and select the uh, one of the PNGs that we had and then I'm just going to play with it a little bit. Check out the wall. Let me know what you think. So when you, when you have a monogram and then all of a sudden starts to do that, that's something nobody's expecting, right? Then what if we were to tweak it even some more? It's almost three-dimensional. sorts of crazy stuff with this. All right, so I'm going to reset it. I mean this, a lot of people can do stuff like this with a regular monogram. There's old monogram projectors that do 360 spinning, but good thing is if you were to go into a venue and realize that like crap, I got to project that the other way, you could just flip it on over. You could make it sideways. You could put it in any direction you wanted. All right, which is amazing. So that's amazing program. And if it's totally in the wrong spot, you could totally move it where you needed to. Change the size. Whatever you needed to do. And that's the simple stuff. Then you also have actual visual effects. These are all built right in. These are amazing. It's when people drink too much. And you've got you have all sorts of parameters to adjust so you could slow these down. Change the tiling. So depending on the kind of stuff you had, like you can see that's Michelle and Thomas flying on by. You can make it rotate. You can do all sorts of stuff. They're actually my favorites. Now 
I did this one in, in just in the video program itself, and there we were able to add the background effects, which is straight, it's a straight video. That's a video. Again, straight video production. And I'm gonna slow it down. I'm gonna slow it down. What's that say? Subscribe. Change it as we go. We can type in there. We can do whatever we want. It's a video disc jog. It's a video program. Delete. So, Grand BJ, you can do a lot with. It's pretty awesome. I just want to show you another one. This is done in video. And I'm going to get the camera a little bit closer because what you guys were really curious about is the shadow of the boxing. Now, this projector is only about 10 feet away from the wall. The further away, the less boxing you're going to get, or less gray box, white box. Um, but as from here, I don't know that you can see it because I really can't see it. I'm, I, can, eh, I can see a little bit if I put a shadow in front of it. But I'm going to bring the camera a little closer, see if you can see it. Actually, you know what? I'm going to turn off this light. I'm going to show you what we got going on here. We have this bright ring light on right now. We have our projector, our bright ring light. We have a color bar and we have our monogram. And on our monogram, if I'm real close to the wall, looking for the box, looking for the box seeing my shadow and right here is the box right here you can see that pretty hard to see but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn the lights off now and the darker darker the room the more the box is gonna be visible to you all right and again we're really close considering 10 feet is pretty close to shoot a monogram uh, we're probably gonna be close to 20 30 40 feet and we're going to turn this light off Woo. and we're going to make it bright by accident first bam and let's see what we got again here's our monogram it is right here right here you see my shadow <laughs> but right here <laughs> Still there, but hard to see. So I'm just going to switch it up and show you a normal monogram now. Boop. And there is our basic, basic monogram. And like I said, you can see a little bit of a box, but a lot of that is because we're very close to the projector. We're only about 10 feet away. The closer you are, you're going to see that. The further away, you're not. I mean, projector wise, the projector will have to move. And if we turn our light back on, Just a little bit we still see our projection good and that box is almost gone so what you're looking for is probably right around um, at least 3500 lumens and um, 8000 to 1 contrast ratio again this is 5000 lumens at 15000 to 1 but I, from what everything I've read, you can get away with about 3,500 and 8,000 to 1, but that's minimum. More lumens better and higher contrast ratio better. So we hope you like it. Please subscribe to the channel. Let me know if you have any questions. And I hope that uh, we see you soon and get me to 200. Get me to 200. 200. 200. 200. Whoop.